These international travelers are taking pictures to remember their visit to a spot most tourists would skip. It's my first time to see something like this, so I'm really taken over. For me, it's first time in the U.S. They are at Irving's Hunter Fair Landfill, and their trip is all about education. They traveled from across the world. I'm from Bangladesh. I'm from, from Lebanon. To learn all about what happens here. They are graduate students whose goal is to work in the solid waste industry in their respective homelands. Out into the waste stream. And there is a big reason why it's important for them to get a close-up view of all this. In my country, there are no establishments like this. They are mostly dam sites. There is no landfill in our country. And they don't have a constructed, engineered landfill in most of their countries. So to get to see that is kind of a great opportunity for them. It tells us our elevation. This landfill is one stop for these students participating in the International Solid Waste Association's winter school hosted by the University of Texas at Arlington. We're um, in the process of constructing new landfills, so I want to learn more about uh, how they're actually operated. They're going to put soil on the top of that and they'll cover all of this. Right now, they are at the landfill's working phase, an about 200 foot wide space where trucks deposit the day's waste. And while this is a first look for a lot of these students, other countries have advanced operations like what they're seeing here. But everyone here is finding something to learn. What drew my attention was the, the narrow working phase. Uh, it's very narrow, it's very small, which is a good thing because then you can uh, actually minimize the odor. And they are also seeing some areas for improvement. It's good, but uh, we are surprised. surprised which, yeah. We're just discussing that there is no recycling of some materials that are should be recycling. We'll keep the working face narrow. There are a lot of observations to make and lessons to learn over their two weeks in North Texas. I make a lot of decisions on the data and it starts right here. This is the fourth year Irving's Solid Waste Services team is participating in this school and over that time they have reached students in 75 countries. Oh, we want to be an example. In just this one visit the students also check out Irving's new scale house and see what's ahead here. We're in the process of building our next cell here so what they'll get to see is how that whole process goes from the bottom up. They are learning a lot of lessons they plan to take with them. It totally changed my perspective how to deal with these things. It's a tremendous opportunity and that's the really rewarding part of this is that we know that we are influencing the management of solid waste for decades to come. I'm really pleased that I came here because at least I know when I go back home I'd suggest uh, ways of coming up with uh, establishments like this one. Lessons learned in Irving that will be shared across the planet. Thomas Gandy for City Source.